So this is a short video tutorial um, to show you how easy it is to create a screencast on your computer. So if you're using a Mac, all you have to do is go up to the magnifying glass spotlight and type in QuickTime, or even just try and start typing Quick, and it'll pop up. And you can launch QuickTime Player. Now QuickTime Player is kind of an odd program in that when you launch it, it doesn't look like a whole lot happened on your computer, but it actually changed the name QuickTime Player in the upper left-hand corner here. So if I wanted to create my own screencast, all I have to do is go File, New Screen Recording. Notice I can also do a moving recording, which does your web camera, or utilizes the web camera. An audio recording, which is just that audio. But I just want to do a screen recording. And so when I do that, a little black box opens up where I can make some adjustments. And the way I make adjust adjustments is by clicking on this little triangle here. And so one of the things I might do is make sure my microphone's turned on, and then I can determine whether or not I want to use, show mouse clicks in recording. And what will actually happen in your movie is whenever you click your mouse during the recording, a little black sort of echo mark shows up, kind of directing your viewer to what you clicked on. So you determine whether you need that or not. And once you've done that, you just click the recording button. And basically it says, you know, click anywhere to record the whole entire screen or you can drag from the upper left hand corner to the lower right hand corner to record only part of the screen. Um, and that might be useful if like, there's a specific application or a specific part of the screen that you want to show. So when you're ready to start recording, like it says, I'm just going to do full screen, so I'll click anywhere on the screen. And now what's actually happening is my recording is going on in the background. And the way that I know that is, I have this new little icon up here that's a little square with a circle inside of it. So if I wanted to, I could you know, launch Chrome and show students how to log into a certain website. Or if I was using something like an IPvo document camera that runs through my computer, I could actually bring up the document camera and then you know, show things to the students. Maybe it's something related to a lab demo that I want to show, or perhaps there's a, you know, something I want to show with mathematical operations. It's completely your choice. Um, so when you're done, all you need to do is go up to this little stop sign, and that will actually stop your video and it takes a second to render it. So here's my video. I'm just gonna make it a little smaller. Not take up so much room on the screen. And then from there, what you can do is you can actually go file and you can share it to YouTube and it'll take you to a process where you actually log into your YouTube account and upload the video. And I'm not gonna do that with you just uh, for the sake of saving time, but I'm gonna bring up something else that I shared. So this is another screencast that I have. Um, when you've uploaded something to YouTube, one thing you want to do is obviously adjust the title of your video so it matches what you want it to actually be. The other thing is in this About tab, make sure it has an accurate description. And when you're in the editing mode here, so let me go into Info and Settings by clicking on the pencil. A couple of suggestions that I would make, I would, I would say that you should do for your screencast is one, right down here where it says Tags, put a bunch of tags in, you know, so it's math or it's a algebra one lesson or whatever it is because that actually determines what advertising or other videos show up around side your video. The other thing that you probably want to do is under advanced settings make sure that the category is set to education. That way you'll get other educational videos around yours. Often these screen recording tools like QuickTime make it how-to or style so next to your video might be like a hair grooming um, video or something like that, that you don't want. Um, so like I said I would put on education and of course, the other thing here under basic info is just make sure that it's set to public so that people can actually find it or even unlisted. Either one's fine. If it's private, only you're going to be able to see it. So that's just a quick tutorial for creating a screencast using QuickTime Player. Let me know if you have any questions.